It's not just Minnesota governor and attorney general races drawing people to the polls. Here in the northwest suburbs, there are several races we are focusing on in this year's local vote. Brooklyn Park City Hall was busy on Monday as many voters participated in the last day for early voting before Tuesday's election. Reporter Sonia Goins shows us what you need to know before heading out to the polls. There's a steady stream of voters here at Brooklyn Park City Hall. According to election officials, over 7,400 people have already casted their vote early. Residents had to pack their patients to vote early in Brooklyn Park on Monday. The parking lot was full and inside the line went down the hallway. Probably like 30 minutes. So it's worth it, well, you know, you gotta, you gotta put a vote. The highly anticipated mayor's race is drawing people to the polls. In 2018, we're about 20% of early voters. Right now we're at standing about 16%. So I think we'll probably uh, hit our 20% numbers as well. The city will elect its first black mayor in the city's history. City Council Member Winfred Russell is going up against Hollis Winston. As long as they're doing the right thing and, you know, to help us out in the area. So that's important to me. Voters told us local elections matter. Everything from construction projects to school issues is decided on the local level. I think everybody should have their opinion be known. I think that uh, if you want to have an opinion, you need to vote. Meanwhile, the Salvation Army Voting Center caught on fire last week, but people can still cast their vote inside. If you're in precinct C8, it's still open. Instead of standing in long lines, people in Brooklyn Park can also participate in curbside voting. We'll come out, uh, have the voter fill out the application, come back in, check them in, and then we'll bring the voter the, the voter's ballot. It's too late to mail in your ballot, and if you have a ballot at home, you have until 3 p.m. Tuesday to drop it off at City Hall. Otherwise, past the deadline, you'll have to vote in person. And if you want to complain later about what's going on, then you have to vote. In Brooklyn Park, Sonia Goins, CCX News. The polls will be open from 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. on Election Day. And stay with ccxmedia.org to see the latest election results and local interviews. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.